Thank you, John. <clears throat> well, as we get started, we are, have some important announcements to make. And uh, would, this is a very serious hurricane, 185 miles an hour, would gust up to 220 miles an hour. That's the, the strongest, the largest in, in modern history, certainly the, the strongest any of us around today have seen. And with these announcements, we know that we cannot make everybody happy, but we uh, believe that we can keep everyone alive. And that's why we're taking the steps that I'm getting ready to announce that we believe will protect the lives and property of people in South Carolina. Tropical force winds from Hurricane Dorian are expected to arrive in South Carolina by 8 o'clock a.m., 8 o'clock in the morning, this Wednesday morning. Based on the latest forecast and storm track, which we have been following very carefully, and after extensive consultation with local county emergency management officials and those you see here today, I'm issuing a mandatory evacuation starting at noon, starting at noon on Monday, September 2nd, starting at noon on Monday, September the 2nd. Point number two, schools and government offices. I'm issuing a second executive order closing all schools and state government offices in the following counties. This is starting Tuesday a.m., September the 3rd. This is for the entire day on Tuesday, not tomorrow, Monday, school's not in on Labor Day, but starting Tuesday morning, all day, September the 3rd for the entire day. They are in these counties for schools and state government offices. Jasper, Beaufort, Colleton, Charleston, Berkeley, Dorchester, Georgetown, and Ori. And again, that starts Tuesday, September 3rd, and they will remain closed how long? Until further notice. As for I-26, tomorrow is Labor Day, Monday, September the 2nd. This is usually a heavy traffic day with tourists leaving the coast from the Charleston area. When you add to this traffic, the residents evacuating pursuant to uh, this hurricane, that will create a recipe for gridlock or worse. We do not want people to be stuck on the highway. Typically, the gridlock would occur between where I-26 heading from Charleston to Columbia intersects with I-95. From there on, we typically have very slow traffic and non-moving traffic on normal days. We expect it to be much worse tomorrow with this evacuation. For that reason, lane reversal for I-26 west from Charleston to Columbia will begin at noon on Monday, September 2nd. That is noon, Monday, September 2nd. That is when it will be closed so that traffic leaving from the Charleston area can move all the way up uh, unimpeded on both both sides of the road. Finally, number three, medical evacuations. I've also issued an executive order, the third one, requiring medical facilities like nursing homes, assisted living facilities, and hospitals to immediately begin the transport of their residents and patients from the areas that we have ordered to be evacuated.